Kulam Ani Nicole. Hayom Ani Ose Sirton Lilimod Iti Ivrit. Im Ani Ose Daoyot Ana Slachli Ani Adai Nomed. And that's all for this introduction in Hebrew. Um, I'm still definitely learning. I've been learning Hebrew for quite a while now actually because I signed up for the Biblical Hebrew Level A course with the Israel Institute of Biblical Studies and it's been really fruitful. I feel like I've learned a lot but it is Biblical Hebrew so when it comes to modern Hebrew I'm still quite lost because they don't have the vowels so I don't know if it's a Shem, Sham, it's tough but I am still learning and from Biblical Hebrew I hope to transition to more modern Hebrew but anyway uh, I just wanted to make this video to start documenting my Hebrew learning journey I do feel like I'm improving a lot I can read and write Hebrew now and the grammatical structures are starting to make sense to me what I really need to work on is the vocabulary so the studying session for today hmm, great segue is for me to kind of write down the vocab words that is given in the notes speaking of the notes <laughs> another great segue let me let me go get my notes so these are the notes it's very thick and I have like 30 tabs here because there are 30 lessons these notes are really very helpful because it comes with a whole bunch of material and resources and they even have bibliographies at the end of each lesson so you can read further if you want to they also give a bunch of vocab words with each lesson so I'm gonna revise that I also wanted to share this notebook it's from Muji and whenever I learn a language I always have a Muji notebook uh, like this to help me but anyway how I structure my notes is in the front I have the Hebrew alphabet so here are the consonants and like here are the vowels okay so I'll be sharing some resources that really helped me learn the Hebrew alphabet on the left it's an alphabet chart with all the Hebrew consonants and this video on the right has been really helpful all links will be in the description bar below and on the left these are the vowels and on the right this has been a really helpful video as well. They provide the vowels in the notes so that's really helpful but in modern Hebrew especially on websites like Google Translate they don't show the vowels so I do struggle a bit with that but I will be showing a few resources that I use to help me kind of hear the transliterations and the pronunciation of the words. With that being said, let me share some resources and tools that have helped me learn Hebrew. So the first one is Do It in Hebrew, and the second is Reverso Context. Next is Bible Hub. It's really very helpful when reading the Bible in Hebrew. And also this website, which has a lot of Hebrew song lyrics. And of course, Quizlet, which I'll be talking a bit more about later. On the next page, I have personal pronouns like I, he, she, we, they, you, <laughs> things like that. And like a lot of languages, they have the masculine and feminine. Hebrew is no different. On the next page is when I start writing all the vocab words like nouns, verbs, numbers, uh, adjectives, prepositions. I should mention that I'm able to learn languages now because I am not schooling yet but once school starts in university I'm really hoping to learn languages still it would be great if it's a part of the modules that I need to take in school that's like killing two birds with one stone don't mind that bird <laughs> So I'm on lesson 5 for the vocab and lesson 5 was on the Dagesh and syllable division. That still sounds foreign to me so I need to revise. Let me move on to the next unit. Also, I don't think I mentioned why I picked up Hebrew. I'm a Christian, so I wanted to really dive deeper into the language that was spoken in those ancient times. I know part of the Bible was also in Greek, but I wanted to tackle Hebrew. I don't know when I'll get to Greek, but um, Hebrew to me was a really interesting language. Other influences or fun facts are that Gal Gadot, 
also speaks Hebrew. She's from Israel, and Natalie Portman also speaks Hebrew. And The Prince of Egypt is my favorite movie of all time. And there's also some Hebrew parts in some of their songs. So yes. But at the root of it all, the main reason was because of my faith, and I wanted to understand a bit more of the Bible in its original language, or parts of the Bible in its original language. Let me continue with Unit Six on nouns and adjectives. also take this time to share some Hebrew music that have really helped me improve my pronunciation because there's a lot of guttural sounds in the Hebrew language. So the first song is Katonti, very beautiful. The second is this video. All the links will be in the description bar below. And also Eli Eli, there are two versions and these two are equally beautiful. So there's no use learning and not being able to memorize. So another thing that has helped me ever since poly days is flashcards, the word slipped my mind for a moment. They are so helpful, so there's Quizlet which is free and very easy to use. So I may still use Quizlet. Quizlet has always worked for me and I don't need anything super fancy. I don't need to add pictures and things like that, even though Quizlet allows that. But I just need the words and I need it to be able to flip and that's, that's pretty much it. So I will begin doing that for the first seven units. So here's my Hebrew study game plan, and also when it comes to typing in Hebrew. If you are typing in Hebrew, it gets a little trippy, but luckily they gave this, which is really helpful, so I know what is what key. Those Hebrew keyboard charts are pretty easy to find online, but what's great about Quizlet is that you don't necessarily have to change your keyboard settings. They have an inbuilt keyboard, so you can just tap on the Hebrew alphabet, and it's really easy. So that's about it for this video. Toda shetzafit. Bye. I don't know how to say it in Hebrew, so I'll say it in English again. Um, I pray that you stay safe, happy, and healthy wherever you are. Bye.